Hey YouTube! Um, I wanted to make a, a video, kind of a fun little video, about weird shit writers do. <laughs> I know that there are a few of you writers out there that watch my videos and I watch yours and I just thought it would be fun to kind of all of us talk about the weird shit writers sometimes do. We all have our own weird shit too, it's not like there's a status quo for this. No, over the years we just develop weird little habits or weird little superstitions or something like that that we do. Um, for me, my, my current weird thing that I do or thing, a little ritual I, I should say that I have is that when I finish a novel, that, that beautiful moment, that <sighs> moment when you feel drained and exhilarated at the exact same time and you can't move but you're so yes I finished it you know <laughs> you're so fucking psyched um, that moment that I finish it and I, I always put my name and the date and time every time I finish a book if you ever read any of my books on Amazon <clears throat> I upload them with that so you'll you'll see it I actually got that from Anne Rice I think yeah I, I can't remember if Stephen King does it too but I know Anne Rice does and I got that from her because it is a moment that for me, I want to remember, you know, when it happened. But um, what I do is, in that moment, I will go straight to YouTube, and I will turn on Mr. Tambourine Man by Bob Dylan, and I will light up a cigarette, and I will sit there, and I will listen to the song, and I will smoke my cigarette, and I will bask in the beauty of a finished book. There, by the way, there is, if you're not, if you don't write, um, or if you haven't quite gotten to a point where you've finished a book yet, there's nothing in the world like that feeling. I, I don't really, like, the only drug I've ever really done is weed, so, you know, I don't really have a lot to go on as far as drugs go. And, by the way, I don't really consider weed a drug. I'm putting it in there for the sake of, you know, society. Anyway, um... But to me, I can't imagine that there is any drug out there that would even kind of come close to the feeling that you have when you finish a book. And that never goes away. That is one form of exhilaration that for me, at least so far, has not gone away. It's still as strong today as it was the first time I finished a book. But I just sit there and I listen to Mr. Tambourine Man sometimes once, sometimes 10 or 11 times. And sometimes I light up a cigarette and then put it out and then light up another one. However long it takes to kind of um, get me through that, that moment or, or get me in, maybe get me in that moment, I don't know. <laughs> but that's my little, uh, uh, sorry, I am having a hell of a fucking time talking today. That's my thing that I do in that moment, um, my le weird little ritual. Um, when I was younger, when I was first writing books, I went through a phase where every time I sat down to write, and I'm sorry the light keeps changing, it's the sun playing peekaboo out there. Um, I went through a phase where every time I sat down to write, I put on Interview with the Vampire, the movie. I don't know, I, I don't know where the fuck I was going with that one. <laughs> I don't, like, I'll listen to music now, and um, I do believe that, for me anyway, the right song can enhance my writing so much because it puts me in the right mood to do what I'm doing, and it, it really does, it can enhance what I'm doing, like, threefold. But, I don't know where the fuck I was going with the movie thing. I don't know. Hell, I did that for like a year. Every fucking day when I sat down to write, I put that damn movie on. I don't know. I eventually grew out of that one. Around that same time, I also went through a phase where, along with that movie, I carried in a, a gym bag kind of thing. Uh, every Anne Rice book I owned at that point, and I would carry it everywhere with me, and I had my, my page of because I hand wrote um, the first three books that I wrote in their entirety and a big chunk of Castles Made of Sand I wrote out. I didn't type it. Um, and I would keep all of my papers in there too and I just, just, I don't know. I don't know where the fuck I was going with that. Um, and another thing I used to, one of my little superstitions or weird things I had going on when I was younger was that I started writing the first book that I finished, the really, really, one of the really, really bad ones that I'll have to completely rewrite if I want to ever do anything with it. Um, I started writing that 
when I was going through a very, very bad time mentally. I have um, a chemical imbalance and I have major depressive disorder. But as I got older, I learned to kind of manage it. This was really my first major bout of depression and it lasted for about two years. It was, it was pretty bad. And I was afraid that if I cheered up or if I let the depression go, I was, m my ability to write was going to go with it. Thank God I got the fuck out of that phase. That could have been all bad. But, <laughs> yeah, there's just, I think we all have weird little thoughts connected with our writing or weird little rituals that maybe we do or, you know, something. Maybe you won't write unless you're able to go into a certain room and close out the world and, you know, write in complete solitude. Maybe you can write in the middle of a crowd of people with no headphones on and, and still do it, but you have a certain thing that you have to do to get ready. Whatever it is, I think we all maybe kind of have that. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe we don't, maybe I'm just crazy. Well, I am kind of crazy. But <laughs> So I kind of want to hear from you guys, you know, your your weird little weirdnesses that you do, or your little superstitions, or whatever. Another thing I, I go through, every fucking time I get writer's block, and I, I depends on what's going on, um, if I'm super stressed out, I either write a shit ton, or I can't write at all. It just depends, but I do go through periods of writer's block. Sometimes it lasts a few days. In the worst case scenarios, it has lasted up to a month, which was pure hell, because every single time I get writer's block, I'm convinced I will never write again. And that is my biggest fear, like, ever. I can handle gigantic spiders fucked up by radiation. I can, ha I can handle any other nightmare scenario you throw at me. I'm not answering that, because I'm almost done with this. But... I cannot handle the idea of never being able to write again. So I'm going to cut this off now and answer my damn phone. But yeah, just kind of tell me your little weirdnesses or your little rituals or whatever you do. I want to hear from you guys too. Alright, have a beautiful day and you all remember to smile.